Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. We're going to solve the Port Swigger Web Security Academy labs today and we're going to start with the authentication lab. So the first lab that we have is vulnerable to password and username enumeration using brute force attacks. So let's get started shall we? First of all let's access the lab, so as you can see I already tried that. And there is an account login uh, on the home page, so when we click this link we should be taken to a login page. Now my uh, Firefox is already configured to route all its traffic through burp proxy. So as you can see I have burp proxy open here and my target uh, tab is set properly where the scope is what I need it to be. Now when I open my proxy tab and I go to my HTTP history and I attempt a login, so for example I'm just going to use test as username and password because I want to brute force these. So I just need any value to start with because I want to request. So when I log in, as you can see, per proxy captured my request. Now what I'll do is right click this and I'll send it to the intruder. So when I open the intruder, as you can see, my host has already been correctly configured together with the port. And there are some positions configured. Now I don't want to attack all of these positions. Let's first start with trying to guess the username. So I'll highlight the username value and I'll add the specific parameter. My attack type can be sniper, which means that every single parameter will have the same value and it'll mix those up, so it'll mix and match those. Now when I go to my payloads, payloads I can choose which uh, payload number I want, so I'll take the first parameter. We only have one here, but if you have multiple, you can of course change them independently. We'll look at a simple list for this request because when we go back to the web page that uh, indicates our challenge, as you can see, we have a list of candidate usernames. So I'll just copy this list. I'll first of all select it all, then I'll copy it and I'll paste it over. There we go into the simple list window. I just clicked the paste button. Now, as you can see, my positions are set, my payload is set, and I can start my attack. Now, when I run this attack as you can see it's going to try every single value from that list at least once so we'll go through all of these values and as you can see there are a few different fields such as status error timeout length and comment first of all let's see if we can find anything other than a 200 status code which we cannot in this case so this is not really interesting now let's see if one of them returned an error they did not either and also no timeouts so maybe a length of different sizes and as you can see, we have a length that matches. So when we, when we see two different lengths, so admin is the only one that has a different length from the other one, two bytes more. Now, if you want to know what the difference between those is, you can just select two requests that you want to compare. So as uh, you can see, the length of these responses is different. And I'll just right click and I'll send the request, the responses to my comparer. Now, my compare tab lights up orange and as you can see both responses have been added now i can compare them on words or bytes for me it's most interesting to compare them on words in this case because it's clear that the content length is different but also incorrect username versus incorrect password is the message that i receive so this is how you can find out if you have uh, the possibility of enumerating usernames, you will have to check out if you have different response status codes, response errors, response timeouts, uh, maybe even response values for the length of the response. So um, that was it for usernames. Now we know that admin is the username, so we'll just go back to our intruder. Now I'll change up my position, so I'll clear them all again, uh, and I'll type in a static value admin for my username. Now for my password, that's the next factor I want to attack, so I'll highlight the parameter value again, go back to my payloads, clear my list, and go back to the burp lab, because let me close this window real quick. Uh, in the burp lab, we also have a list of possible passwords. Now, of course, you're not going to get a, a candidate list of usernames and passwords when you're attacking your real target. There are lists out there, such as the Rocky list, which is the top 100 passwords used. Um, but there are other ones out there, of course, as well. Now, we're going to use these predefined ones because I want to show you guys how this works and I don't want to actually attack a target. So when we have our position set, 
and our payload is set properly again, we can again start the attack. Now we'll let it run for a moment and then we'll start sorting again on the different fields that it uh, displays. So let's start by doing length again. There are a few different length changes here, but as you can see, the status codes also change. So for example, there is length 217, 254, and 2978 in here. Now if you know which one is the correct one, you'll have to look at the response manually. So as you can see, this one gives a 302 found, which usually indicates that you're being redirected to the home page, to the locked in page. The other ones, they respond a 400, so something went wrong with the CSRF token there. The session did not contain a CSRF token, it was noted, but it did of course. Something went wrong there internally, so this is not what we're looking for. We're looking for the password Montana. So that's how you do uh, the username and password enumeration. So now if I use the username admin and I go back and I take my password Montana, enter that in the password field, I'm logged in. So uh, Borps, uh, Burp Swigger gives me an error here about my CSRF token. I'm just going to refresh the page in that case because probably the CSRF token uh, has changed. Of course, I need to go back to my home page before I can refresh my page because my previous request was a post request. There we go. Let's try this again. And we're logged in as administrator. So that's how you do username and password enumeration. Let's quickly check the Burp Suite uh, solution if we need to do anything else. Uh, back in the browser, log in user username and password, click my account to solve the lab. So the last step, there we go. We've solved our first lab. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a lot more like this because I really like to port Swigger labs. So uh, if you did, please leave a like up. We only need a few more subscribers as well for our first giveaway. So if you're new to the channel and you like the content, you can always help out by subscribing. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.